Greetings, this is John Flokini at the Durham Buffalo Ranch, Gillette, Wyoming. And uh, I'm standing out in front of my humble office where I spend a lot of my time. Also have my humble Bailey and Josie, our ranch guardian, black and white labs. Anyway, more to come. This kind of gives you an example of some of uh, the buildings around our main headquarters. The historic rock house, original homesteader built that back in the early 1900s. Looking out onto some of our pastures, beautiful Wyoming landscape and clouds, our shop area. And here is my wonderful ranch wife, Galen, making my sandwich for lunch. Just checking the mail is a daily task here. The mailbox is about one half mile from the ranch headquarters. Another one of the things on today's agenda is to fuel up for our big buffalo drive tomorrow. And this is the main entrance of the Durham Ranch where our mailbox is. It's a bit of a frosty morning that we are on tap for today. Getting ready to trail our yearlings. It'll be about six miles. We'll gather up the troops here shortly and get going. We go distributing the maps for the trail drive today. All right, well, let go. let's do this. There's our horses we're mounting up on. Let's go move buffalo. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Yeah, good girl, let's go. Here we go, all dispersing. 550 head, I think, we're moving today. Always takes a little bit to get them lined out. Very much a herding animal, have a strong herd instinct, so they like to be together, which is really great. It helps facilitate movement. Although there's a saying with buffalo, and that's that you can move buffalo anywhere they want to go. So here's our first gate that we have to go through. First little mini challenge. Got the animals coming pretty nicely. Looks like we got a lead. Nice, it's always nice to get a lead animal. Takes the rest of them through. Now we'll see what happens after they get through the gate. No, no boys and girls. Hopefully they don't want to cross the creek. They may want to go to water. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna hit the water. I don't know that they're thirsty or what. Good guys, making that turn. Actually looks like they're making the turn pretty good. A little dicey going through a narrow gate with 550 head of buffalo. Getting the last ones through. Excellent. All right, nice job. They're a little thirsty. Trying to get their morning drink. We can pick up stage on the other side of the creek just to Hopefully keep them from crossing. Well, yeah, that might be a little bit of a challenge for us, but they're amazing athletes, amazing swimmers. I'm gonna slow them down a bit. So our target is clear up on that next hill. We've gone about three miles or a little more. Another probably two miles or so to go. Things are going pretty good so far. Approaching another gate. Gates are a little on the narrow side. Squeezing on through. 550 head through it, about a 12 foot gate. <laughs> In about 30 seconds. Not too bad. Well, this one worked pretty well. This is also oil country. Let's see, oil wells, tank batteries, so we get the corresponding traffic to deal with on this move. Start getting tired and thirsty. We've been at it for about three and a half hours so far this morning. Alright, another 20 minutes or so to go and I think we got it made. 
Oh shoot, about six, between six and seven miles. So here we are coming up to our corrals to uh, load a load of buffalo onto a semi to haul over to join up with the crowd that we trailed today. There's the semi, regular cattle semi. You trying to bait them? Yep. <laughs> Where's your red cape? So I guess in summary, what I'd like to share is how great a life this is that I get to lead, working with bison, working with the land, in this great state of Wyoming, and um, couldn't think of a better way to uh, spend my years.